Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great today. I've just returned from a seven day cruise on the Celebrity Edge. I stayed in an Aqua Class stateroom on deck 10, and in this video, I'm going to give you a tour of that room. So stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is Tim from Tim at Sea. I just boarded the Celebrity Edge. It's October 2021. And this is just going to be a quick room tour. I have an Aqua Class stateroom, room deck 10, room 185. This is a connecting room. So you can see the door here. To the other room but I do not have guests there that I know. This has one of the infinite verandas in it which we'll get to in a minute. To the right here as you walk in you have the bathroom, you have this touch panel, and light controls. Let's go ahead and check this out. Set to 72 degrees in here. There are some different lighting settings, it looks like. Morning, movie, evening, sleep. Looks like there's some sort of glitch line on my thermostat, but I think I can get, get over that. Close the blinds. Maybe. Ah, I see. Okay, they're behind those double doors there. Closing slowly, so it's going to get quite dark in here. I was wondering about that because I didn't see any curtains. I'm going to open those back up so you can still see. Going back to the thermostat here. Looks like there's some other button options for lighting if you don't want to do the um, presets. I'm going to turn this down because I like it pretty cold in my room. I don't think we need any lights on right now. Well, let's set it to morning since it is morning. So back down here, have some other switches. Turn on some lights over the sofa there. And one more switch here. Not exactly sure what that's doing. Maybe it's inside the bathroom. Well, let's just move along here. We got a little niche right here with some storage, it looks like. Four shelves. Decently deep and hide some stuff, looks like. Got another, um, looks like an opening up here. Oh, yes. And some kind of decoration item, I guess. And this is a sewing kit and a laundry bag. So I'm going to close that back up. Moving along over here. Got another storage cabinet with some hangers, a safe, not big enough for a laptop, but decent size, good for passports, documents, cash, that sort of thing. Got three drawers below, Let's take a look at these, pretty good size, probably get some jeans, some Smaller items in there, maybe some shoes if you have smaller shoes than I do. I wear size 13, so they won't go in there. Open this up. Got some bathrobes and a whole bunch of hangers, that's nice. This is, looks like, another laundry bag. Oh, I think there's some slippers in there. Very nice 
lots of storage in here. It's the biggest amount of storage I've seen in a non-suite room. So have nice soft clothes handles. Moving over here, we have a dresser of sorts, I guess. We have some waters, some Evian, and some Pringles there. I'm not sure if those are on or bar or not. I'm not sure I'm going to find out. Pretty nice deep drawers here. And uh, Celebrity Cruises bag. Pull open those. Plenty of room for clothing. This is the first time I've been in this room today. I just walked on the ship, so you're seeing it as I'm seeing it. Sorry if I miss anything. We've got a couple of face masks here and some hand sanitizer they've provided. Nice little charging system here with US and UK plugs, I believe. And some USB ports, two of them. Looks like this closes if you want. It's got little um, notches here so your cables can go through. Very thoughtful. Some more storage here. Oh, no, that's a mini fridge that has a lock on it. So I'm assuming it's an honor bar. I'll open it up very carefully. Oh yes, and there's alcoholic products and sodas in there. Don't want to trigger anything, so I'm going to close that. Over here we have a little desk with a mirror. I don't really want to be... Oh, there's the mirror. The artwork behind. If I've read this correctly, I believe that this desk retracts if you want. Let's try. Yes, it does. Push it right in so you can get a full length mirror if that's your thing. It's just a lot of thoughtful touches in here. It's very smooth to open and close this. Just a really thoughtful touch. Another thoughtful touch is this beautiful chase lounger here. If you sit on it, you'll be looking outside, which is really nice. Over here we have a king-size bed. Looks pretty comfortable. Got some cubes over here on the nightstand. Put some stuff in. Your phone. Got um, a power outlet there with a light switch and a couple more USB ports. Charging. Here's your TV. It looks like it's, I want to say it's probably about 46 inches. And then this is the infinite veranda that's closed up by these doors right now. Let's take a quick look at the other nightstand. It doesn't look like there's any USB ports over here. So before we go to the balcony, I'm going to take you back, get a good view of the room from the other direction. We've got the air conditioning vents up here. Go ahead and take a look in the bathroom. Oh, very nice. So we've got a glass enclosed shower door here. Well, it's tight in here, so looks like a uh, rain head shower, some body jets in there. I'm six foot two and it looks like there's going to be plenty of room for me to get in there, which is nice. You know, ducking my head to take a shower. There's your commode, a nice large sink. There's a lot of storage over here. Looks like they use Bigelow bathroom supplies. I'm not really familiar with that brand, but there you go. It's warm in here. Like the light is, the light warms the room or that's probably on purpose since this is a spa room. Got some, another power outlet down here. I would assume there's probably a hair dryer in here somewhere. Oh, this is a drawer. Yep. There's the hair dryer. Sanitary disposal, extra toilet paper, and tissues. So, very nice. Here's another view of the shower. The rain head. 
pretty spacious shower, I have to say. Looks like there's a little uh, footrest there if you're gonna... If the females in watching this video need to shave their legs, that's a good place for that. Nice handle, so you don't slip and fall. And you got a handle to wash your body if that's your thing, plus two spray jets there. All right, very nice. Okay, well, the moment you've been waiting for, go check out the balcony. So there's just some handles here that you can pull or push. And these doors slide in. Wow, floor to ceiling window there. We're in Fort Lauderdale, Fort Everglades, Florida today heading out on a seven day Eastern Caribbean cruise, stopping in Roatan, Honduras. Uh, I believe it was supposed to stop in Costa Maya, Mexico, but that cruise port got canceled for some reason. We're also stopping in Nassau and I believe Punta Cana, I could be wrong, or Cozumel, excuse me, Cozumel. Some boats going next to us there. Very nice. Let's go ahead and open up this other door. Got to remember to push, not pull. Got some uh, nice lounge chairs here with a small table. It is pretty warm out here. Uh, it's October in Florida. I think it's low mid 80s. So here are the controls for this window. Not sure, maybe that's, I assume this is a light switch of some kind, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything, or I just don't notice it at this point. So you can move the blinds up and down here. There we go. Very nice. So you get some black out there. The blinds, You've got a lot of heat coming in here, so that's really nice to have. And while that's going back up, let's go ahead and put this window down. Wow. So it's just a really clever idea, I think. And there you go. Get your view out to Fort Lauderdale. Quick pan around so you can live vicariously here. Beautiful day here in Florida, beautiful skies, beautiful water, of course. This is one beautiful ship, I have to say. I'm on deck 10. And this has been a tour. Actually, let me come back in because I don't know if that wind, I don't have a wind muff on, I apologize. But this has been a Room tour of Deck 10, room 185. This is an Aqua Class stateroom on the Celebrity Edge. I hope you've enjoyed the tour today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Comments, if this has been helpful, I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to my channel. I'm gonna bring you a lot more videos about this cruise and some other cruises very soon. So thank you again for watching and have a great day.